middleweight match in the blue gi, Marcus Tanoko from Marcelo Garcia Academy Alliance up against the checkmat veteran Lucas Leitch. Leitch fighting in his own weight class this time. This More is interesting. Less. First time we've seen him at his natural weight class in some time. Yeah. Usually fights much, much heavier. I asked him about that and he said that he feels that his game is well suited to dealing with the bigger guys. But his technical jujitsu puts him head to head with anybody in the world. Oh, yeah. Sure. I agree. Known for his half guard, where he comes up on the single. Marcus Tanoko, a relatively new name in the black belt division. He's seen him compete now. Got his black belt last year at the hands of his coach Marcelo Gar uh, excuse me, yes, Marcelo Garcia. And Marcus Tanoko, a very aggressive fighter, much like his teammate Mateus Denise. I've seen them go head to head in the gym, Sean, and wow, as they have some wars. I can only imagine. But Tanoko. If you had to describe his style, he is just an aggressive, opportunistic submission hunter, always looking for the finish. But unfortunately, that means that sometimes against the more strategic fighter, he can concede points and fall into that trap whereby they stabilize the positions and just take him out of his element. Well, and I think that's what Leitch is doing here. He's, re he's really doing his best to, to tie up Tinoco and not really give him any space to work. Yeah, and I'll tell you, you give Lucas Leitch an inch, he'll take a mile. And, you know, he's good in these type of positions where he comes up on singles and doubles. Here he comes. And he'll get to your back in a hurry. He's a very, very skilled pass it to the back. He's looking to get a grip here. He's going to... He could come up right now. I was watching Lucas Leitch train earlier this week, just the final preparations there. Checkmat HQ here in Long Beach, California, watching him roll. And I have to say, his jiu-jitsu is just something else. It, he is obviously a, a, an amazing physical specimen, like all these top-level athletes are. However, the nuances of his technique and the, 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 just the absolute control that he exhibits in this position especially, Wow, it's, you learn a lot from watching him. And there is a two-point reversal. Yep, now it's on a single. He's very comfortable with these. Yep, very comfortable in single leg scenarios. Leitch. Trying to get around to that, that far right side, but Tinoco's right leg is blocking him here. On mat number one, an adult male black belt middleweight quarterfinal match. Yeah, and I would say technique and these little details are what separates him. He's, I don't, I would never, I wouldn't categorize him as one of the most athletic guys in this division, even, even though he is an athlete. But yeah, just the precision and, and the small little things that he does that make these things work on the high level guys. He's a very dangerous competitor. Trying to leg drag right now. That grip of the sleeve, on the left side of Marcus Tanoko, really saving him here. The the, the guard, like she's just creeping up, isn't he? You can see yep. him. He's he's kind of you know trying to get past the knee line to get to those hips and this uh, use of the hooks there from Marcus Tanoko, just keeping Leitch at bay. But Leitch's forward pressure seems to be non-stop, Sean. Yeah, it is. There's a nice sweep coming up by Tinoco with that lasso, but he's not going to get up yet. Not able to stabilize. And he's going to come up into a strong suit right here. Well, there's a two points for Tinoco coming up on top, but he's gone straight into a position that Leitch is so well known for. That, that half guard with the underhook, yep. so good at this position. Yep, he's, what he's really good at is turning the knee. And so you'll see his left foot creep down by the ankle and look to scoop that ankle up. Here he goes, he's starting to get into his position. Well, now he's just coming up for a single. And of course, worth mentioning also that Marcus Tanoko trains with one of the best half guard players in the game, Bernardo Faria. 
there in the Marcelo Garcia Academy in New York. So this is absolutely a position that he's going to be very familiar with. And I think if you can hang out and uh, uh, defend <laughs> Bernardo Farias half guard, I think you could probably hang out and defend anybody in the world. Yeah, yeah, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> of course, Bernardo Farias, just an amazing shock in the absolute division yesterday, being taken out of the semi-final there by Irvin Santos. And not just out of the absolute, but out of his weight class as well. Bernardo unable to continue, possibly has a torn pectoral muscle in his chest, defending an armbar, Urbeth just exploding onto it, and Bernardo tapping out. That's the first time we've seen him vanquished like that in quite some time. Oh yeah, Urbeth, what a, what a performance. Oh, he's an absolute beast, just really coming through the ranks. And I'm really looking forward to that absolute final later today, him and Bouchesha. But back to the action here. This is classic Lucas Lecce, this position, his head right through the legs there. Yep, he's slowly coming around with his single leg, so his control, his his grips just absolutely on point. That pant grip with his right hand, he's got his left underhook creeping up the body. There's that heel drag you yep. were talking about, Sean. Yep, he's gonna left turn the coming knee. over the top. There he comes. Look at that knee pressure, he'll turn the knee. Minoko did it. he's doing a good job to stand up out of that. Yeah, great job of turning the knee out there, but now falling into a uh, an even more precarious position is Marcus Tinoco. So there's a nice step over to yeah. defend. I gotta say that Marcus Tinoco has impressed me here. He's had an answer for everything that Lucas Leitch has thrown at him so far. Yeah, he's doing an excellent job of keeping Leitch at bay. Let's see if Leitch elects to sit out. guys are absolutely neck and neck here. Yeah. Marcus Tonoko, this is actually, I think this is a sign of him maturing as a competitor. He looks really composed. Sometimes, as we've mentioned, his aggressive nature takes over and that can lead to him conceding points. But so far, playing a very smart game, not giving anything away. Yeah, I, I would say, yeah, if this is the first time you've seen him, you wouldn't even know that he has that potential to get too wild or too aggressive because he looks great right now. Nice passing sequence there, head in. Great belly down there from Leitch and manages to recover guard, but a flash of the dynamic passing guard skills. start in the center to not go in a strong passing position here and interesting to note as well that passing now on well, I mean Lucas Leitch I'm sure he doesn't have a bad side but it's not his preferred <laughs> side right. for playing guard. That's right correct. Yeah. The other side is generally where he likes to play the half guard. He's got a pant grip but yeah that's to not go managed to sprawl out and strip it off. That's a good grip for Tonoko to have right now with that pant leg grip there. So if he sits, he's got to strip that first, but there he, now he slides under. Now this is a this half guard game that Leach plays. It's, personally, I love this half guard style that he plays, but it's also it's a very physically demanding style. Yeah. You've got to carry the guy's weight on top of you. You're getting grinded out by his yeah. top pressure. It's not a fun position to be in, no, is it? No. Yeah, it can definitely wear you out on the bottom. And Here we go again, looking, looking back down. Same move. Tinoco, though, holding that knee up at bay. And that is keeping... Leitch from really going after that half guard position. See, he's got that leg all tied up. I love Leitch's frames here. The use of the Z guard, the use of the, the, the forearm, but pulling his head forward now from top is Marcus Tanoko. 
Oh, and sneaking in that underhook. He's so good at getting that underhook, really. Just sneaks it in there, the tiniest bit of space. And again, looking to pass that left heel over the top, but Tanako turning the knee out, getting up to the top, stripping the grips. Technically, I've got to say, I think Tanako's defenses have been absolutely perfect. Yeah. Spot on. Spot on so far. Every time Leitch just went to that position, he's just stood right up, pulled Leitch up off the floor. And it's interesting to note that Bernardo Farrier is right there at Matt's side, coaching Marcus Tinoco. And i got to say, if I was going up against Lucas Leitch and the half guard that he has, I think I would want Bernardo coaching the opposite. Whatever Lucas does, Bernardo's going to know how to do it, and he'll give you the answer. Great corner guy. Yeah. <laughs> to have in a half guard situation. Thirty seconds left in this match now. It is two points apiece, but three advantages in the favor of Marcus Tinoco from Alliance Marcelo Garcia. And right now, with the pace here, this extremely technical grip battle. I gotta say it's looking like Tinoco's to lose. Yeah. Yeah, Tinoco's I think he's gonna move through here. He's been late yep. last ditch attempt to try and get up to a sweeping position, but that's it. Marcus Tinoco of Alliance, Marcelo Garcia takes the win here in this black belt middleweight quarterfinal. Two points to two, three advantages. Great match, Sean. Yeah, excellent. had a lot of fun calling that. I'll leave you to the action now. Pass you back to Kenny Florian.